Hello and welcome to Driven Mad. Now today I'm going to talk about a diesel particulate filter because my lovely truck here, as you can see I've treated myself to a three pack, uh, has had, it's had, if you followed anything that we've done on the channel you'll have known that this, this truck's had a full engine rebuild and to be fair they've done a cracking job but I hadn't had it back long from the engine rebuild and I had a sort of what I would describe as a catastrophic failure and I thought the engine had gone again and <clears throat> I got it to a, a local mechanic here and he didn't want to touch it uh, we didn't know what was going on with it so I sent it all the way back we're in Portugal to the north of Portugal uh, because we were convinced it had uh, had an engine failure so they looked into it and they diagnosed that the turbo was completely knackered so i had a turbo rebuild they put that back on and the car still wouldn't run it turned out to be a blocked diesel particulate filter now obviously i know they exist i don't really know much about them and i had no clue that that blockage could cause such catastrophic failure of the turbocharger basically being uh, i'll put a picture of what it looked like they sent me one your car if you've got a diesel car it has a diesel particulate filter in the exhaust system again i'll put a picture up somewhere because i've had to learn it so you may as well learn with me and it was invented in around 2000 by peugeot and the theory of it is that your uh, particulates that come out of the exhaust system are captured by going through uh, it's a, basically a filter which is housed in the exhaust system now it collects soot and ash and what happens is it's obviously got a limited amount that, of crap that this thing can hold and the vehicle when you drive it if you get it up to around 250 degrees a thing called diesel particulate filter regeneration occurs so I've looked this up and basically gets really hot burns the soot back off throws it back out the exhaust so I mean to a layman like me it just sounds ass about face really you're stopping the soot to then burn it to then send it out anyway nah, anyway let's not go into legislations because it's all gets on my tits so need to keep these particulates and keep the filter clear so if you're doing lots of short journeys, which is sort of what I do, um, the, the, the soot builds up. The, the critical part is to keep your oil clean. Now, as a fastidious oil changer and high quality oil user, I find it odd, but this car came with issues. So I think that if you change your oil regularly, use good quality oil, and you drive occasionally a decent distance, you shouldn't really have a problem. But the generation, the, the regeneration occurs, obviously on a long drive it gets to a heated temperature, but if the car has a sensor and will check that it has an issue, it will actually use the glow plugs over fuel and get the heating up anyway. Again, seems a very complicated way of getting rid of soot particles that you're going to chuck into the environment anyway. But so. The problem that you have, particularly with a car like mine, uh, the, the issues are shown by a light on the dashboard. Now my car's 2010 and it's not as sophisticated as that, so I had no notice of it. If you're lucky, your car won't start, but you'll notice excessive fuel use and maybe lack of performance and it'll start quite slowly. Uh, so that gives you a sort of tip that you may have a problem with the filter. Uh, then obviously if it doesn't start, you're lucky because you can then get it sorted. With mine, what it did was it started and I was obviously driving it and the turbocharger went <laughs> um, So therefore mine was an expensive issue now what's happened is turbo's been rebuilt 500 euros ish and the cleaning took place so the, the key to this is obviously the soot can get burned off but ash if you're using crap oil can't and that's one of the things that really does block it so what i've decided to do is to on every say third fill up of diesel because I'm becoming OCD about it I'm going to put this stuff in so I've bought myself a three pack of winds particulate filter cleaner and it's quite a simple process you just lob it in the fuel when you fill up now looking at it quickly so basically the gist of it is um, I'd, whoever particular manufacturer you think of using I'd go to their website for full information 
But what they're basically saying is that uh, one of those um, tubs will needs to go in around 60 litres. So it's up to about 60 litres. You want to make sure that you've got a fair bit of fuel to dilute it. And then you just run that through and it will help the cleaning process. And I think I'm going to put it, because uh, I don't use the truck that much, I'm going to probably put it in every third tank full as just a, you know, that's just me. That's not what they say to do. Uh, but I think as far as I'm concerned, I don't really want to turbo rebuild and the cost of that uh, over a year is going to be nothing compared to actually having catastrophic failures. And clearly, if you're going to blow your turbo up, you could do, uh, do a lot worse. So the gist of this um, short and sweet and boring video looking at me is to literally make sure that people who are unaware that you've got a diesel particulate filter in a diesel car, you need to you need to understand what they do and you need to look after them. So what I'm going to do is, when I finish rabbiting, I'm going to put a list which you can slowly read through and that'll give you the gist of what it, the, the genuine cause is. Not written by me, I hasten to add, by someone vastly more intelligent, but that's not really hard to find. And that will give you a clue of what it does, what you should look for, what you should do. Uh, my recommendation is, if you've got a vehicle that's newer than 2000 it's got a diesel particulate filter fitted and it's not a new vehicle i would start putting an additive in just to be on the safe side maybe not as much as i'm going to do but this car definitely hasn't had the best of lives but considering we more or less rebuilt the car it's as good as brand new we should really have no problems at all in fact i think i might put a new exhaust on just to um, alleviate any issues in the future but it was a quick one because it's cost me a lot of money and preferably if you watch this chuck 10 quids worth of cleaner in every so often and you won't have those problems so appreciate you watching uh like and subscribe would be nice and we'll catch you in the next one hopefully more interesting one